I feel overwhelmed and very blessed to be in the keynote speaker at this off-taking ceremony of the first cohort of nursing graduates of your distinct university, the IUM. It is really a great honor for me, personally, not only because I am mandated as the second in charge of healthcare provision in this country, but because I'm a truly a proud nurse. This auspicious occasion marks a milestone in which, I, which culmination of the hard work, dedication, and resilience of people who have taken a commitment to be by the side, by our side, and our death, and, and our death. Our government acknowledges nurses as the foundation and the backbone of our healthcare system. Yes, we are indeed. Kindly give ourselves a hand of applause. <laughs> Director of Proceedings, we acknowledge that the profession that you have, that you are about to enter, is a truly noble one. And that is structured only, that is structured only for the dedicated, passionate, empathetic people who live up to this call. With a whipping number of nearly 8,000 Namibians who make up the majority of healthcare workers in our country, we ought to be in the front seat of transformation, transforming healthcare system in Namibia. It is reported that the, the world is facing a serious crisis of health professionals Today, the figure of nurses' shortage stands at 7.2 million around the world. A World Health Report released in 2013 called A Universal Truth, No Health Without Workforce, warned that if the finding is not addressed, they will, they will have a serious implication for the health of billions of people across all the regions of the world. Not only in Africa, neither only in Namibia, but the entire world will face a crisis of healthcare professions, especially in nurses. This report further identifies several, several key causes, which include the aging health workers with staff retiring or leaving for better paid jobs, without being replaced, while inversely, not enough young people are entering the profession of being adequately trained. Increasing demand are also, demands are also being put on the sector from the growing world population with a high risk of non-communicable diseases like cancer, heart diseases, and stroke. Increasing internal and international migration of health workers is also aggravating the regional imbalances. Namibia is no exception to this hardening reality. Therefore, we are obliged to produce professionals who will provide quality health care to our people while, while improving health status of our country. Director of Proceedings, Dear colleagues, we are valuable assets to our communities. And the nation at large, our training has equipped us to serve the ill, the infant, and those who come to us, to our facilities, when they are at their most vulnerable state of health. If we live up to the pronouncement in our pledge of service and think of how many lives we will give hope on a daily basis by just rendering the basic services. <coughs> a clean bed, stopping just to talk to your patient or client, or just to put a smile on the faces of when you are passing by the client or the patient our contribution will never be undermined. 
How many of you have seen Mrs. Smiling when you're passing by me? This will go a long way towards changing the way the public perceives us and restore the glorious image of our nurses to, to that of the beacon of light and hope. The people that we are expected to serve place their lives in our hands and we are therefore expected to reciprocate the faith by rendering a competent help them, and most of all to do so with an attitude of caring. In today's world, health workers, <coughs> health workers walk a delicate line between the tradition and the technology, computer skills and compassion, compassionate services. To bring the greater awareness to their challenge. Listen very carefully, you have to answer me now. The graduate, otherwise you will not take the off. <laughs> a lecturer asked a nursing student this question. If you were Florence Nightingale, what would you do if, you, if your patient atrial blood gas results show pH 7.25? Carbon dioxide of 58, bicarbonate of 29, and the partial pressure atrial oxygen of 80. If you were not as bad, then what could you do? At one time, a student just replied without missing a beat. I will open the windows <laughs> to provide pure clean care. Because I just brought this one because most of us we are saying there is no resources, it's why we cannot give the best care. It is just a basic. The student answered that she will open the window just to bring the air into the room, hold the patient's hands and call for immediate intubation. The lecturer obviously grinned with satisfaction that at least for that student, her teaching has been a big success. <laughs> this student's response demonstrates what, that we do not need luxury to provide care. We can do so much and better with just a little bit of compassion while feeling out of the box. I felt that I should speak out from the heart after digging deep into my heart hoping to channel Florence Nightingale and this brought me to share my impression of what patient thanks us for <coughs> and when they say thank you. I know in public sectors we receive this thank you very rare, very, very rare, but in private it's a daily thing. But why do they have to thank us when we ask, we ask yourself? Over the years, I have noticed that the predominant theme of those few things we get from our patient is gratitude for the little things we do for them. Speaking compassionately, giving them something to drink, placing the phone on their ears if they cannot be able to hold themselves, holding their hands, <coughs> Explaining thoroughly the instruction of the medication we give to them and shortening the waiting time in the queues at our facilities. Recently when I read when I read Flores Nightingale notes on nursing, what it is and what it is not, I realized that she was writing about the similar little things, referring to, to keeping the bedside spotless and other housekeeping issues she issues and she warned us saying if the nurse declines to do these little things because it's not her business, I should say that nurse was not that nursing was not her calling. So when you are going out as new graduates, don't look for the cleaner when somebody just wasted on the floor. Just do something before you look for a proper cleaning. 
if it's not good for your eyes, I think, I think it is also not good for the eyes of the patient. Little things seemingly menial gestures may not get us nominated for Nobel Prizes. As with peacemakers, what we do moves and moves the human spirit and heart. The enthralling thing is that as we strive to bring about positive changes in our patients, we are transforming ourselves. Every day when I was a nurse, I didn't work for long, but for the few days, years that I work as a nurse, when I'm going home without telling my children who I had said that day, I was so certain and ashamed. You know, you just have to say, I found this not by lying, but that by telling exactly what you have done for the day. If your patient has come with a critical condition, the next body you can talk to her. It's a milestone you are feeling transform yourself. And it should be our drive on a daily basis as we are telling for our patients. I have to confess that every time I am saying our pledge, I am deeply moved. It evoked thinking of being an angel on earth. I can't stop thinking on modalities how we can keep the energy, enthusiasm, and the image we are presenting today to become our lasting image. I know people are so much enthusiastic and you are so much compassion, but after two, three years when we meet again, you are the one who is telling people that, can you not just go back home until somebody deliver it? <laughs> I am really proud to be a nurse and hope that our effort continue to be the labor of love, even though it sometimes we feel it is hard to slow. We have chosen a noble profession. We have responded to a call which is demanding, yet rewarding and fulfilling. Allow me in conclusion to echo the direct words of His Excellency Dr. Harry Gainkov, when he launched the NTP-5 early, early last year, he said, with regard to public service performance and services, service delivery, the government will encourage a service mentality and work ethic. It, it is only through the adoption of a high standard of work ethic and a culture of service delivery that we can bring flotation to our national development aspiration. Desire without effort will not take us to the promised land of the shared prosperity." End quote. You are going out there now to be the transformation that our facilities need. They should talk about Sister Karituna. Every time when everybody comes there, they should just want to be treated by you because you are the transformer you are the person who is building a new face, hope and aspiration. You should be the beacon of hope, the light of hope to the people that are coming to your institution. I hate speaking about negativities. Thus, I want, I want please to beg you to go there and be the light of hope for many despondent souls that are waiting for you outside there. Be that one exceptional nurse who is always guided by the oath you are due to take today, tonight. In conclusion, finally, as Archibald Maruisi said once, choices and decisions must be supported by your passion, resolve, and productive work ethic. If this met, meet the opportunity, your success can finally come and come. Have a blessed graduate uh, opening ceremony and all the best. I thank you.